nothing in this game, but the pace has been sensational. The commitment from both teams has been superb. Tries to draw the man. Schultz will do the same. Or he kick it himself. He does. Schultz gets the goal. And Port get back to a 14-point lead. An opportunity to cement ourselves in the top four. Gone begging with a 14-point home loss to Port Adelaide. Welcome to Eagle Review. Proudly sponsored you by Chicken Treat. If you don't mind, Benny Roberts. A sponsor finally on board, Thump. It only took four years. Maybe someone's finally taking some notice. But it was a disappointing game in the end. It was close. It was an arm wrestle. It was a finals-like tempo all night. Unfortunately, the last quarter was all Port Adelaide, and they scored three goals to one to run away with it. Doesn't help when you use your sub in the opening 10 seconds. Xavier Ellis, gone. Yeah, calf injury. Spoke to him at quarter time. He was very upset at the time. I don't know whether he was more upset about the injury or scoring only two points in fantasy football. Um, but disappointing for X. Jack Darling had a tremendous game, just 21 years of age. You've got to pinch yourself sometimes. He was a one-man show out there, leading up, getting midfield ball and doing his best, but probably just didn't convert his chances to take a best-on-ground performance away. Two goals, three, I believe. Yep. A monster of a game, a monster of a man, a bit of a beast, actually, Jack Darling. You're playing very well at the moment. Got big raps on the uh, West Coast podcast during the week. Will Schofield bigging him up. Yeah, just saw some footage of Gary Ablett before we came in here, boys. Dare I say? Yeah. Thanks, Gary Ablett. Wow. Oh, okay. Gags all round. Jamie Bennell, been very impressive in the first five rounds of the season. He's sewn up the small defender spot, shutting down those dangerous small forwards of the competition. Yes, Thumb, it was good to see when Wingard did get one of his touches for the night. Didn't get that many. It was JB jumping on the back of his heel as he took this mark, just to show him who was boss. I'll tell you who else thought he was big boss man. It was Darren Glass stitching him right up into the back 50. Jeez, he hit him with some force. But Thump, the tribunal deemed it as low impact. Mate, we'll take that every day of the week. One week for the skipper, he will be sore. Missed. Look, this decision in the last quarter, we've got to touch on it. Jesus got the crowd up and going. You could hear him down at Sorrento. This, and then when it was played in slow motion, looked at even more devastating news. Eric McKenzie, a bit hard done by? He almost took mark of the year and they paid the mark to Port Adelaide. Nick Natanui, I didn't mind this tackle on Kane Corns. Thoughts? A little bit of ragdoll action from Nick Nat. You cannot do that sort of thing to an old age pensioner. Stiff call. I'll make sure Kane Corns gets a copy of that one. Big fan of the show. We're moving on to the chicken treat roast of the round. Hard to go past Elliot Yo. He's ended up getting on someone's shoulders and just couldn't get the job done. Yeah, he's had a crack at goal of the year, scooting down the wing and trying to have a shot from 50 out in the full. He's had a crack at mark of the year and had a windy. Not a good night for Yoey. Yes, yeah, so and we remember last year's effort where he did get paid and was a mark of the year nominee. Well, I don't know if he held on to all of that one. Let's get the glue on the hands and let's get him working. Thanks for joining us on this week's edition of Eagle Review, proudly sponsored by Chicken Treat. We'll see you next time.